Hello, welcome to you, welcome back to today's Tech Way, whichever way the situation may be. Today's video, like the title suggests, I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your RAM on the Azeroth B450M Pro 4 motherboard. I gotta throw this disclaimer out there. This is a tutorial or a how to. If you decide to do this with your own computer, you take full responsibility if anything happens. I'm going to show you three different ways on how to do this today. Number one, I'm going to show you how to just enable your XMP profile, which is the simplest and the easiest way to do so. But what are you going to do if it ain't stable? Well, I'm going to show you how to go in and set up everything manually, like your XMP profile says. So a lot of times, if your XMP ain't stable, if you go in and manually put everything in, it will be stable. Okay, what happens if you still ain't stable? Well, I'm going to show you how to turn on your XMP profile and just turn your speed back a little bit. That ain't ideal because you ain't getting the full performance out of your components. But it's still better, going to be better than what the stock settings is at. So let me flip you over here and I'll show you the three different ways of overclocking that RAM on this motherboard. Alright, here we go. We're on the desktop and we're going to be showing you how to overclock the RAM on this particular motherboard today. You're going to go down here to your start button. You're going to go up to your power. Double click your power, go up to reset, restart, and you start uh, tapping your delete key. This will take you into the BIOS. Alright, here we are. We are in the BIOS. As you can see, we are running 16 gigs of RAM. It's DDR4, 2133, 8 gig, 2 8 gig sticks. Alright guys, and to be able to get this RAM overclocked, you need to go over here to your OC tweaker right here at the top. Click on it. Your DRAM information is going to be your second second section here. This is going to be your DRAM information, the loaded XMP settings, your DRAM frequency, your DRAM voltage, and the infin infinity fabric frequency and dividers. Alright, so of course the easiest way to be able to do this, if your motherboard and your RAM play nicely together, you just want to go down here to this where it says load XMP settings, and when you do, It'll give you the option for whatever your RAM is set at. And once you hit the XMP profile here, you click on it, and it shows you your, your XMP profile and what it changes. It puts your speed up to 3600 megahertz. Your cast legacy turns to 18, 22, 22, 42. Your voltage turns into 1.35 volts. Double click on that. And of course, your motherboard says 1.20 volts. And it's up to 1.35 now, so it will show up in red. Okay, once you turn on your XMP profile, you can hit F10, save and exit. You can hit your uh, yes button at this point, or you can go up here to exit, hit your save changes and exit, then hit yes. Either way, it'll both save your changes and put you back on your desktop. All right, here we go, we're back into Windows, so it must be at least partly stable because it did boot back into Windows. Go down here to toolbar, you right click, go up to task manager, go over to your performance tab, go to your memory, and right there you can see it is running at 3600 megahertz speed. Alright, say if you do this and it ain't stable, it keeps crashing and this and that, then what are you supposed to do? Alright guys, I went back into the BIOS and just set everything back to default to show you the next way to overclock your RAM. You can see here on Windows it is setting to 2133 megahertz, which is the base for this kit. But when you get into the BIOS, if you're XMP ain't stable. Now I'm going to show you how to overclock it a different way. Alright, here we go. You can see it's still setting at 2133 because I did re-enable the default. They go back up here to OC Tweaker. Back down here and you can see it's still on, everything's back on auto. If the XMP profile wasn't stable, a lot of times you can go in and type in the exact same numbers that XMP gives you and it will run stable. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go down here where it says auto down here. Double click on it. We'll take this down to 3600 because this is what this kit's valued at. Okay, DRAM frequencies at 1.2 volts. Click on auto. Type in 1.35 volts. Hit enter. Okay, the infinity fabric. XMP left that alone, so we're going to leave that alone. DRAM timing configuration, as you can see everything's on auto, it's 15, 15, 15, 15, 36. Okay, on XMP, we had 18. Go down here to the next one. 20, uh, got to delete the auto. 22, hit enter. Next one, 22, hit enter. Next one down, double click it. 
take out the auto, put 22. And the bottom one down here where it says auto, we're going to take it out and we're going to put 42. The rest of these I'd recommend leaving the same. But, you know, your, your opinion may vary on that. Okay, and from this point you can hit your F10 button and save and exit. Just like last time, hit yes. Or you can go up to exit, hit save changes and exit, and hit yes. And you should boot back into Windows. Alright, now let's go down here and make sure it's out. Make sure our aim still set 3600 megahertz here. Go down to memory, and it is setting at 3600 megahertz. I hear you. You're saying, hey Dave, I don't want to do all that. I don't want to type all that in. Is there another way around if XMP ain't stable? Well, there is. We go back into the BIOS here. Keep hitting your delete key here. Go back into your BIOS. Alright, here we are back in the BIOS. Which it did take the last time. We'll back up to 3600 megahertz. But if your XMP ain't stable and you don't want to type all that in, you can go over to the uh, OC tweaker here. Go down here and load your XMP setting. Load that up. Go down here to your speeds. And we'll cut it back to 3200 megahertz. Now this kind of bites because you ain't getting the performance out of your RAM that you are paying for. But that 3200 megahertz speed is going to be a lot better than the 2133 that's the stock. Okay, and again, you can hit F10, save and exit. Or you can go up and hit your save and exit button, save and exit, and hit OK. Whichever way you want to get back out of it. Now we should go back into the windows. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to go down here. We're going to click, right click, go up to Task Manager. Go over to Performance, go to RAM. And now you can see our RAM is setting at 3200 megahertz. That's the way if your XMP ain't stable and you don't want to go in and you don't feel comfortable changing all them timings on your own, that's the better way of doing it. Just go in, set your XMP, and turn that timing back a little bit. But there's three different ways that you can actually overclock your RAM on this motherboard. Let me get reset up here and I'll come up with the conclusions of the video for you. All right, that's the way, that's the three different ways to get your RAM overclocked on this motherboard. You may have to go in and mess around with the settings a little bit to actually get it stable. Once you do get booted back up into Windows, I'd recommend running a stress test on it. Something like the Memtest 86 is a good one. Or you could run Prime 95. That stress tests the CPU and the memory both. That one's a little bit hard on the CPU, but it's totally your choice. I'd definitely recommend running some kind of stress test on it to make sure it's good stable RAM overclock for you though. If you like this video, go down there and give that like, hit that like button. If not, there's that dislike button. You can tap that one twice if you like to. Also, there's that comment section below. I go through them every weekend here on my live stream, Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. There's also that subscribe button, that notification bell if you really like this kind of content. There's also links in the description below for Instagram and Twitter if you like to come up there and follow me. I don't care your inbox, but I put up photos and new stuff I have coming in. If there's any changes with my live stream, if i got to change the date or time of it, that's where you also get that information. With all that being said, you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.